All right, so while we're waiting for our nine and a half pounds of Permatex to dry, um, this is the stuff we use to seal up, um, seal up the intake, by the way. I uh, saw that on the last part of the video. Anyway, we've got these two big regulators to mount. Um, and these things are big. They're probably about as big around as a softball. There's two of them. And they're going to be full of liquid propane and coolant, which means they're going to be heavy. They're going to contain a very flammable fuel. And they're going to be in your engine bay. Uh, so you need to give some serious thought uh, as to where you want these things to go. Um, they come with brackets, which is a simple piece of metal that, um, that they say you can bend or fabricate. Uh, what we're looking at doing right here on our truck is to mount them right there on the firewall. Um, if you look at the layout of the overall engine bay, there's a throttle body right there, which uh, will have our mixer located very close to it. Um, right here, there seems to be a big empty space, kind of above where the oil filler cap is. So what we're going to try to do is mount these things right about in here, okay? So they're next to the throttle body. What that'll do is it's going to give us a tap on our heater hose right here. It's going to give us a secure mounting point. This is part of the frame here. Basically is the tray that contains the, the wiper uh, assembly and motors. There's not much to hurt back there. We can get some good solid self-tappers through there. Um, and it's, it's going to be up above the engine where it's going to get some airflow and not get too hot. Um, what it'll also let us do is, is route that fuel hose um, up top away from the exhaust manifold and, and some other things. Um, so it'll be sitting up above the motor. Um, so again, this is, this is something that you need to consider on your particular car. Again, this is a 2003 F-150. Um, this motor is very, very common. Taxi cabs, fleet trucks, etc. Um, and, and this is the way we see it working the best. Um, you know, again, if, if your car's a little bit different, if you've got a Nissan or a Toyota or a Dodge or a Chevy or, or any of those other cars, you're going to have to do a little bit of your own design work. And, and as we evolve and as we do more of these, we're going to show you what we came up with. Um, but for the time being, this is where I think we're going to mount the brackets. Uh, we're going to uh, send those off to get bent here, and we should be putting some self-tappers in and get these regulators mounted here um, and, and get on with the next step. All right, so there's our first regulator going ahead and mounted. Um, it's on the firewall, as you can see, uh, right here. Uh, what we did was put a, uh, a big self-tapping screw through that tray uh, with plenty of lock washers um, and bent that bracket. So it's right there. You see you've got your two coolant outlets, one and two. Propane comes out right on this side on this little guy, and then there's your supply hose right there with your 12-volt. Um, it's important to note that this thing is securely mounted. Um, it's got the biggest screw we could get in there. The bracket is, is heavy gauge steel. Um, we're not, we have no interest in this thing falling off uh, as we're going down the road. So when you, when you do this, you need to be very aware of these mounting points. Um, and we're going to try to get the second one here mounted right next to it so we can uh, just loop that coolant right through the first two with a minimum of, um, of compromise on our hosing. All right, so there we got it. Uh, two regulators mounted. One, two. They are secured to the firewall and another engine bracket. Um, Y'all, when you do this, if you don't bring it here to our shop to have it done, please, please, please make sure you mount these things in a secure manner. Um, you don't want to be relying on something flimsy to do this. Like I said, these things are, are going to contain hot coolant, which is vital to keeping your engine at proper temperature, um, as well as liquid and vaporized propane. They do not need to be falling off and rattling around your engine bay. Um, so again, we've got these, like I said, these are mounted so we can run hoses from, uh, this will be your input right here. You'll go secondary, this will flow out, flow into here, flows through this regulator, comes out here, and we will return to the heater core. Um, that's going to keep that propane nice and vaporized. Um, we don't want any liquid propane getting into our air intake. Uh, so we're going to hook up some hoses, and uh, that'll be the next step. Alrighty, so here's the next step. Um, we've got to pull coolant off of the engine. This little fitting right here is a T that's supplied with your kit. Uh, this hose here comes out the top of the water pump and that supplies your heater core. Uh, that's what keeps your, your truck hot. Um, or that's what keeps you hot in the uh, winter time. It pulls heat off of your engine. So we've got to insert one of our brass T's there. That's our supply line, um, which will be used to run hot coolant through these two regulators. Alrighty, so here we got everything hooked up. You've got your two regulators. We have coolant coming out of this T right here. It's going to flow through this hose into this regulator, back out into this guy, back out into that one, forming a figure eight. This hose, it's hard to see, but it disappears back under there. Um, and that's all tapped into the heater core. So that's going to provide our coolant heat to, to vaporize the liquid propane. Um, the next step that we've got to do is, uh, is reinstall the air intake here and um, <coughs> hook up the, uh, the actual hoses 
from the outputs of the propane regulators, which is here and here. We have to tie those together to a central line and put them into the air intake, which will feed into your throttle body right here. Um, so we'll get all this reconnected, and, um, and then we can start working on the wiring and, uh, and running the actual fuel lines.